Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about, uh, it's actually a question I had in one of my previous videos, asking how I pick and choose my accessory work after a really heavy bench session. So let's go ahead and talk about it. As a competitive powerlifter, even more specifically a bench press specialist, uh, accessory work is one of the most important things you could possibly do. And of course, my training has morphed and changed and evolved kind of with me as I get older. My needs change, the weight, weights get heavier, uh, what have you. Things are constantly moving and changing. And specifically talking about the question that I received, it was more or less asking how I choose my tricep work after heavy bench press. For the purpose of today's video, answering that question, how do I pick my tricep work? Come the 1st of June of this year, I will have been lifting weights for 20 years straight. And trust me, I've tried just about every tricep move literally in the book. This is my first ever, uh, this is actually the book that inspired me to get into weight lifting weights. This is the Weeder's Ultimate Bodybuilding Encyclopedia. Uh, almost 500 pages this book is, so uh, this this is uh, this goes back a long ways. But the point is, I've tried almost every tricep movement out there and throughout the years done really a kind of a trial and error period. And I've been able to kind of weed out movements that don't work. And everybody's different, everybody has different needs, everybody's belts a little bit different than each other. So what might suit me better is not gonna suit you better or, or vice versa. So you really have to go through and try everything to know exactly what's gonna work for you. Okay, so now regarding picking my movements after a heavy bench session. Right now I train twice a week, uh, shirted days on Saturday and not shirted days on Wednesday. Because I only have two days to rest after my Wednesday workout, I don't like to train heavy triceps on Wednesday because I want them to be fresh and not have sore elbows going into my most important uh, big Saturday bench days. So the bulk of the tricep work is reserved for Saturdays. The accessory work has gotten consistently more and more difficult for me to do as the years have progressed since the weights get heavier and heavier and my palms are fried after a really, really heavy bench session, especially when the weights exceed 1400 pounds, but I still do them. Typically, I like to choose at least one, we'll call it a compound tricep movement, followed by anywhere from two to three isolation movements and then other things, of course, with like uh, rear delts and pecs and things like that. So compound movement, what would that be? That's a multi, that's where multiple joints are moving. And with the compound movements, you're able to use more weight than you could on an isolation movement. The compound movements for me, I mean, I'm a huge advocate for the reverse grip bench press. So sometimes I'll do a reverse grip variation. That could be reverse grip incline. It could be a floor press, uh, either be raw or semi-assisted. Another compound movement that I like doing is the JM press, and more specifically the JM press on incline. I, to this day, have not figured out how to do a proper JM press on flat, but I can do them just fine on incline. I did put out a recent video on my channel about uh, incline extensions and the little hack where you cock your wrists forward on the descent, which kind of turns it into a JM press position. Then we move on to the isolation movements. Now, when it comes to the isolation movements, there is no kind of rhyme or reason with me. My idea is, my philosophy is, I should have strong triceps no matter what implement I'm holding, barbell, dumbbell, kettlebell, fat bell, uh, from all angles, incline, decline, flat, on the floor, with band tension, with chain weight, doesn't matter. You should have strong triceps from all angles, no matter what you're doing. So I have a laundry list of tricep movements that I go through to make sure that I'm strong from every which way. Elbows in dumbbell extension, sometimes sometimes called dumbbell darts, made very, very famous by Westside Barbell and Ryan Canelli. Easy bar extensions, behind the head, incline, flat, off the floor, dead stop floor extensions. And then with the easy bar and things like that, you can get into like the Hoff presses or the Hoff extensions. You get into the dirty 30s, which really suck. So if I want to change up the, the monotony of training, can be uh, my, one of my favorites is called tricep sled death. We'll set up a sled on one end of the gym on the turf, flirt it up with weights or people standing on it, run a rope the length of the turf, I'll lay down on the floor, and I'll do tricep extensions with the rope, dragging the sled down the turf. Then we move on to the pulleys. Oh, there's just there's so many different things you can do with pulleys, having the pulley out in front of you from different heights. You can do dead stop extensions. You can do just normal bodybuilder style extensions. You can do 21s. You can do them overhead. You can use a rope, rolling thunder handle. I made a video on my channel about the wide grip uh, JM style uh, shrug position extensions with the lat bar. 
supinated or underhand extensions. I could go on and on and on and on, but basically, like I said, when it comes to the isolation movements, I rotate them. I just try to have fun, do them from different angles, make it challenging. A lot of the inspiration for my tricep movements, again, I get a lot of ideas, uh, even, even to this day, watching Bench Monster TV on Thursday nights. Want some clever ideas on tricep movements, watch Bench Monster TV with Ryan Canelli. Uh, if you're on the West Coast, it starts at 7 p.m. Over here on the East, it's 10 o'clock. So that's basically it. There's nothing secret, it's nothing proprietary. It's nothing really overly complicated how I choose my movements. Whatever you choose to do, just do a lot of it. Be consistent and try and go as heavy as possible when you can. And always remember to try to be strong with any implement from any angle, any rep range. That's gonna do it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you want more content from me. Until next time, stay strong.